Hi, I'm Emma with Wicked Edge, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to determine your angle to make you wicked smart. Let's get started. So you've taken your knife and you found your angle set to it already. For this particular blade, we have an 18 and a 22 degree. So now I can decide what I want to have it sharpened to. I have three options to choose from. My first choice is going to be to use the manufacturing set angles, which are 18 and 22 degrees. Therefore, I'd go through my process as normal, not changing any of my angles for it. For the second choice, I can reprofile to the angle that I so desire, based on the intended use of my knife. If I'm going to do this realm, I might choose something for a kitchen knife that's going to be in the 17 degree realm. If I have an EDC knife, I might choose something in the 20 degree realm. And if I have something that's going to be outdoor and bushcraft, it might be 25 or above. Once I've decided that, I'll have to go through the process of reprofiling my knife. This is not highly recommended, however doable. It will remove a lot of steel from your blade. My third choice is going to be to meet in the middle. Since I have an 18 and a 22 degree mark, I would find something in the middle at 20 degrees. And that is the place that I would reprofile to. This removes less steel, but it will give you one solid angle to work from, and therefore you don't have to go back and forth remembering two angles. So that's it, how to determine your angle to make you wicked smart. And if you find you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at wickededgeusa.com. And as always, keep it sharp.